Hello and welcome to Glitch Tech X. How are you wonderful, wonderful people? Today we'll discuss the Ryzen 3 3100 and the 3300X quad core chips from AMD. If you're interested in building a budget PC for gaming or for light workloads, this video is worth it. I've been going through a lot of material and reviews for these chips and one thing is clear. These chips are immense value for money for budget PC builders. These CPUs can handle almost any task that is thrown at them. As far as gaming on a budget is concerned, these chips can be used to churn out decent FPS numbers even in AAA titles. And as a workhorse, they can handle CPU intensive tasks like rendering, compression, etc. fairly well. Now the keyword here is fairly well. If CPU intensive tasks are the requirement and the time taken to execute them is valuable, then I would suggest that it's better to go for a Ryzen 9 3950X or the upcoming Ryzen 9 3900 XT, the Matisse refresh chip with an even higher clock speed. Coming back to the Ryzen 3 chips, it seems AMD has a winning formula here. The Ryzen 3 3100 has a retail price of 99 US dollars and the 3300X has a price of 120 bucks. Four Zen 2 cores with higher frequencies and a higher IPC for 99 bucks? Oh yes, it is a better deal than the say $85 Ryzen 5 1600 AF. Now now, it's not just higher frequencies that attribute the performance gains. There's a change in the architecture of the chip as well that contributes extensively to the gains in performance. Talking about the architecture, the similarities between the two chips is that they both have an 8-core chiplet, out of which 4 cores are disabled. Now that's about it for the similarities. As far as the differences are concerned, one major difference is that the Ryzen 3 3300X has a 4 plus 0 CCX configuration, whereas the Ryzen 3100 has a 2 plus 2 configuration. What this means is that the 3300X has all the active cores in a single CCX, whereas on the 3100, the four cores come from two different CCXs. That's the chip complexes. This would mean a two plus two configuration, and hence if a core from CCX1 wants to communicate with a core in CCX2, there will be increased latency, as that request needs to traverse the infinity fabric, adding even more latency and this would have a negative impact on the performance. The L3 cache is the same on both the chips. However, it is split in two on the 3100. The split architecture of the 3100 that leverages two cores and the L3 cache out of both the core complexes slows down things and takes a bit away from the performance. Now, I won't bore you with performance graphs and charts or FPS counters, they are available plenty on the interwebs, on YouTube. But I would say that these CPUs don't realize that they are budget CPUs. The performance to price or frames to price ratio speaks volumes about the immense value for money that these chips are. As far as the synthetic benchmarks are concerned, like rendering tools or Cinebench, 7-Zip, etc., these chips, especially the 3300X, performs really well. Both the chips, especially the 3300X, beats the Ryzen 5 1600 at times, and if not beating it, they are neck to neck. And mind you, the 1600 is a 6 core, 12 thread CPU. The synthetic benchmarks do not really represent workloads in a practical setup, I'll have to point out. Needless to say, the 3300X edges out in the lead as compared to the 3100, partly to the higher frequency but mostly because of the architecture and low latency within the core complex. You can expect performance gains up to 8 to 12% when compared to the Ryzen 5 1600 and at times are even neck to neck to the Ryzen 5 2600, which is a Zen Plus 6 core 12 thread CPU. Gaming is where these chips outshine the Core i7 7700K as well as the Ryzen 5 1600 and the 2600 chips in some titles. So much performance for $99 for the 3100 and $120 US for the 3300X. This is great news for budget PC builders. 
My final thoughts? That these chips are a bang for your buck. And boy, that bang is loud, really loud. If you're planning to build a budget rig for gaming and like to moderate workloads, then you can certainly go for these CPUs. If budget is tight, the Ryzen 3 3100 is a very good deal. But if you can spare the extra 20 bucks, I would suggest to go for the Ryzen 3 3300X hands down. Intel is also launching the 10th gen CPUs and the Core i3s will also feature hyperthreading. So let's see who wins the budget CPU battle. What are your thoughts about the value proposition here? Which one would you choose in your next build? Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Do subscribe to my channel for more videos like these. The channel focuses on let's play and gaming videos along with PC hardware and tech news. So do show some love and support and help the channel grow. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.